Hello, everyone. Welcome to all to today's online class. So this is Dr. Bhutti Suresh Babu, Professor, Department of Civil Engineering. Okay, hope you are all adjusted to our uh, online classes. Dear students, this slide gives an idea on the portions to be covered from module number one. Okay, this consists of totally ten topics. I have divided the entire syllabus coming from the that is included in module number one. Okay, I have divided into ten topics. Okay, number one is the introduction. Under this, you have to study. why it is necessary that is called a need for sanitation and some of the terms which are using in this subject throughout the syllabus see such type of things are called the terminology terms and definitions you must know all those things because here on what we are go on using many terms okay see this is the first topic i am going to give the idea on this okay next topic is sewage disposal and types of sewerage system see here we are going to deal with this subject is full of uh, municipal wastewater engineering okay see this wastewater is also called sewage that is why see in this topic the sewage disposal you are going to study and uh, what are the different types of sewerage system sewerage is nothing but underground drainage system see that one you are going to be studied under second topic okay under third hour that is a third topic is dry weather flow and wet weather flow okay this dry weather flow and wet weather flow are also called dwf and wwf okay see what is dry weather flow the flow which occurs in during what you call summer season summer season means what happens there is no rainy whenever the rain will occurs there is a water which is entering into the drainage that is called a wet weather flow and whenever there is no water that is in summer season see that particular season is called a dry weather conditions that is why dry weather flow in short form we can call it as a dry dwf and a wet that is wet weather flow is called wwf okay and what are the different factors which are affecting on dwf and wwf you have to study under this topic okay next one is after this this drainage system you have to design see how to design see what is the diameter how much it is required what is the discharge velocity all those things you are going to study under this topic this is a design of sewerage system sewerage means what actually we'll discuss in the next further slides okay after this estimation of storm water flow storm water means what actually the rain water which is entering into the drainage see the, we are going to calculate or estimate okay see this drainage are two types one is closed drainage that is called pipelines and open drainage system means you are knowing that in front of your house there are open drainage system okay that is called a storm water drainage that is flow we have to estimate the discharge how much it is flowing through this drainage okay next topic is sixth one time of concentration and time of flow see how to measure this time of concentration and flow measurement see here we are having a three types of t is here t means time time of concentration means tc this is equal to okay te plus tf te means time of entry into the drainage the rain water that is a storm water that is also called storm sewage see it which is going to be enter into the pipeline see that how much time is required to reach the sewer pipelines from the upstream catchment area okay that is called time of entry how much time it is required to reach the things okay next one is a time of flow this time of flow means after entering this see how long it is going to be what you called it uh, going to be move this is a flow flow how, how long it is going to be flow inside the pipeline 
see which which is a uniform steady and uniform flow see then also it is called then only it is called time of flow see time of entry and time of flow if you add these two timings that will be you are getting time of concentration what is concentration concentration is nothing but a rainfall okay see this is the topic which will deals with the time of concentration these are very very important topics which are coming to your examination 100% guarantee it is okay that is why please concentrate on this subject regularly you have to observe the things and previous class what you have done and this class what you have done everything i am going to give so please come with preparation okay now the seventh topic is what do you want sewer appurtenances sewer appurtenances means structural components which are coming along with the pipeline see there is a drainage pipeline it is starting from one place to other place okay see where this sewage sewage means wastewater is going to be where it is going to end finally see the, all the wastewater which is going to reach to the treatment plant see without the treatment we cannot dispose the huge amount of wastewater is generating in the society that is finally going to reach to the where stp i have given a small letter called stp what is stp sewage treatment plant okay these are the dots this is the turning points wherever we are getting the turning points we are going to provide some connections okay because sewage contains solids solids can flow only straight line okay the solids can flow only in straight line but whenever the turning point will come see it won't turn because it contains solids sewage is a wastewater which is generating generating from the society okay you know already that is why the solids cannot be turned and it may choke the pipeline and automatically it will overflows see to avoid all these things you are what you are going to provide a manual every junction point every junction point turning point we are going to provide what you call we are going to provide provide what actually manholes manholes the chambers or manholes chamber means smaller in size and manhole is a bigger one see so man a person can enter into that automatically to clean that uh, what you call to clean that uh, drainage systems see there are two types of drainage system sewers this is called drainage system the structural components which are arising in between this uh, are called appurtenances okay here there are two types of drainage system one is open drainage system another is a closed drainage system closed means pipelines from a residential area whatever the waste water which is collecting here the, all the waste water is going to be sent to the treatment plant okay see through manholes and their types you have to study okay see these are all our different types of uh, appurtenances appurtenances means structural components which are going to provide okay next one is shapes of sewers next laying of sewers how the pipelines are to be laid and how to test the sewers okay next is the ventilation of sewers basic principles of house drainage system see this much of topics you are going to cover from module number module number 1 okay see now let us go to the next slide okay dear students i am explaining again and again see this is your overall syllabus of your uh, subject see the subject is municipal wastewater engineering see this subject is uh, the subject code is 18cv55 okay this will gives overall idea about your syllabus this is a module number 1 and this is module number 2 and module number 3 i have given in this slide three topics let me three modules next slide two remaining modules totally you are having five modules please be perfect in your syllabus always syllabus and topics coverage is very very important okay now here in introduction that is in module number 1 in introduction okay see the need for sanitation number 1 is need for sanitation next methods of sewage disposal okay the sewage means the wastewater how to dispose the sewage water that is a wastewater municipal wastewater okay safely 
in, in from your community area okay see next type of types of sewerage system types of drainage that is what type of drainage you are going to provide sewerage means the underground drainage system okay next dry weather flow and wet weather flow that is a dwf and a wwf i have explained in previous slide clearly about a dwf and a wwf okay and next is a see factors which are affecting for dwf and a wwf okay next design of sewerage system how to design these pipelines how to calculate how to estimate the quantity of sewage generating from the residential area okay next estimation of storm water how much rainfall occurred and what is the quantity is entering into the open drainage system we are going to study next this is a time of concentration and the flow okay see how much time that is what is the time time that is what you call required or what you call taking to entry into the pipeline and as well as flow see these two we are going to study see and numerical problems you are going to get from this okay topic see each module one to two problems compulsorily having okay this is actually 60% of design is there and 40% theory you know fundamentals of the theory then only we can do very neatly with this is a very very scoring subject only thing is you have to be touch with a subject every day See next sewer appurtenances. It is a full of theory subject. This one, this one, this topic is theory. Manuals, that figure and line diagram. That is called line diagram and explanation about that one. These are the components of the what you call that is called sewer lines. Okay, appurtenances means the structures which are going to be provided along with the pipeline. See this is the topic first module. Module is very easy. You will get two questions in the examination. 20 marks from this side, 20 marks from this side. Totally 40 marks. Okay. Any one question you have to answer. See now 60 marks they are giving for 100 marks. Okay. You have to answer one question from each module, 20 marks each, and 20 into 5 it is 100. Okay. Next one is a design of sewers. See here, here this design is different. Design of sewerage system it is. See here design of sewers pipelines. Using hydraulic formula, how to determine the velocity and discharge? You know, very simple formula. Q is equal to AV, right? Q is equal to discharge. That is the quantity of water flowing with respect to time T, right? And the Q is equal to A into V. Area is a area of cross-sectional of pipeline. The P, that is a area is equal to pi D square by 4, right? And the D is unknown. So that Q, you know, and D unknown and the discharge is a Q value. See, by knowing velocity A into V into, that is a AV, it is Q is equal to AV. So, we want to determine the diameter of that pipe so that uh, there is a small formula. You can use that general formula for this. And then velocities you have to determine through the pipeline, how much velocity it is going to be take to pass through the pipeline. This is a self-cleansing and non-scovering velocity. Self-cleansing means cleaning of the pipeline. And this is non-scoring means without damaging the internal surface of the pipeline, how it is. See, like this, we are going on studying. These, these two chapters are covering what you call sewers concern. Next, we have to go for the quality of wastewater. Afterwards, all these things will be over. Then you have to go for the treatment. See, there's a treatment of what you call treatment of municipal wastewater. See, here one small topic is there. See, flow diagram for municipal wastewater treatment units, units and operations and process, okay? This is connected to this chapter and this chapter coinciding and you will get a more advantage, okay? Next, we are going to, I am going to discuss with the next slide, okay? Dear students, see in previous slide, we came to know that First, slide, first module, second module, third module. Now, this is module number four and module number five. Okay. Module number one and two connected to sewerage systems and design of sewers. So, okay. Next, module number three is connected to treatment. Treatment of sewage. How we are going to treat and what are the units which are coming in a treatment plant? Observe here, 
the sewage treatment plant in short term it is called stp remember always lifelong it is okay in, in this module we are going to treat by using biological system okay using bacteria that is the microorganisms they are going to treat we are not using any chemicals in the treatment of sewage remember it okay next module is advanced system okay this is a model number 5 advanced waste water treatment what are the advanced treatment we are going to follow in recent days and then rural sanitation is there that is a low cost treatment see model number 3 4 5 are concerned to treatment of sewage remember always okay and it is very easy subject unless otherwise knowing the basic concepts that is why i am stressing many times many many times the terminology and uh, what you call theoretic concern and all always i am comparing with the syllabus how much it has portions has covered okay thank you we'll let us go to the next slide let us see dear students as and now we are studied so many things by using your syllabus okay now we are entering into your syllabus real syllabus from module number 1 here before starting this subject see the first topic is need for sanitation and the terminology terms okay the terms and definitions you have to study in the examination the first question for 10 marks will be coming like this only why it is required what is the meaning of sanitation need means requirement okay the requirement means why it is necessary to treat this waste water that is the main question right and then under this okay this is only theory see it is having around one page of notes see if you re recall those things and you write one page you will get a 8 to 10 marks from this okay next terminology means definitions the terms and definitions that is a terms standard terms which are going to be used in your subject okay let us go to the next slide okay dear students we are coming to the first model first topic okay in your total syllabus see the first topic is need for sanitation see need for sanitation means what why it is required for this we have to study under this need means requirement sanitation means what it is nothing but a cleanliness see cleanliness cleanliness means what See, you are taking bath every day or monthly once or 15 days once or like this. No, it is highly impossible to sustain your uh, what you call the health. See, every day you have to clean it, even hands or your face or any kind of this one. See, to maintain your healthy conditions, that is the cleanliness, the clean environment. See, this is called a uh, sanitation. I am I am talking about. Uh, the public that is a social concern in your house and individually you are maintaining but the waste water which is generating uh, through these your activities okay it may be toilets or urinals or any kind of this uh, through the drainage whatever it is coming out from your house see how to maintain see in the city okay before reaching to the treatment plant see you have to maintain all these things okay you have to study all these things now i am giving a brief introduction about uh, sanitation see observe here before that i will tell you see every community that is all communities will produce both liquid and uh, solid waste this is you know everybody the liquid portion is the waste water which is the which is the water supply of the community okay after it has been fouled by a variety of uses fouled means it has fold means bad smell okay see the water whatever you are supplying water to the community or a society that will be coming out as a waste water see after its usage from the point of sources of generation waste water may be defined as combination of the water carried waste removed from the residences institutions commercial industrial and and other establishments together with the storm water surface water as may be present you because the rain water after falling okay what happens that entire water will go to the drainage only that is open drainages are near to this roadside you know slope so that all the water 
that is called concentration it is entering into the open drainage so now need for sanitation we are talking about this we'll go to the next slide again i am going to tell you okay okay see if what happens if you want to treat what happens you know most of the diseases are coming from water only many of the diseases on this earth more than 70% of the diseases are coming from water only you are already knowing that uh, very well that is a pani puri i was given many example many times because water is contamination or not because you are not knowing that where the person is, is going to be bring is bring and then giving to the public okay no problem see that is pani puri ka chhod dalo now you come to here if untreated wastewater is allowed as it is without treatment what happens that is called accumulation so okay that it will be actually it contains huge amount of organic matter and leads to production of flies and mosquitoes it leads what actually production of flies and mosquitoes again it's a big problem if you are go if you are not treating the wastewater allowing to accumulate in one place automatically what happens due to the huge amount of organic matter which is present in the water that is a waste water okay it leads to lot of problem see in addition to this untreated sewage untreated sewage or waste water usually contains large amount of pathogenic bacteria pathogen means what disease causing organisms okay see they are from the human intestinal system also untreated sewage contains organic matter i was already told you and uh, what you call plant nutrients usually plant nutrients means what npk okay if you are going to allow this waste water in a small pond or aquatic concern okay see what happens see gradually the water is gone accumulating in one place and becoming a large pond or pool okay then the plants which are growing in that sewage water okay that is aquatic plants they are going to you have seen already the some plants greenery green plants chota 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 rata hai oh in the water we can see the pond which is contaminated with sewage it indicates contamination of sewage okay that system the green plants chota chota algae see which are grown in the pond or a something okay store stagnant water that condition is called eutrophication you know tanks pushkarne anta karitar gotala temple that is called temple tanks in temple tanks many people will come and wash their hands legs everything okay see their washing place it has become because the water is not overflowing if water is moving then no problem if this is a stagnant water people use continuously then what happens the impurities are entering into the that stagnant water that is called a temple tank automatically what happens it contains what you call added with plant nutrients npk npk means what nitrogen phosphorus and potash these three are very very important we are going to discharge all those waste that is all those elements into the water and automatically due to sunlight that will becomes green color see then that growth of aquatic plants in the stagnant water see it is called eutrophic conditions okay see now why we have to maintain sanitation see the main purpose of sanitation is to maintain such an environment as it will not affect the public health in general see health is one of the very very important factor see all people are wants water right we are going to supplying the water to public last semester you have studied okay how much water is required per head already you are knowing that is 135 liters lpcd karku bolta hai okay or it will be varies with respect to the population of a city or a town it depends okay now this sanitation will gives a good environment because it should not affect the public health in general that is the purpose that is why all the waste water which is generating in the society we are going to carry all those things through a pipelines and send into the treatment plant see the treatment is called treatment plant is called stp sewage treatment plant see the study of all these things 
the sanitation why it is required why what is the important and significance study on sanitation means what you call the cleanliness hygienic conditions in the society because most of the diseases are coming from water only they are called waterborne diseases which will directly or indirectly affects on the health of the public see you observe here only in in general in general the global system the disposal of wastewater is only only two types one is into the water body number two is on land disposal onto the water body or on land disposal these are the two met two only two methods of disposal because after the treatment you have to dispose that is called safe disposal condition See, okay i will go that is why the sanitation maintenance is sanitation see after getting the disease we cannot uh, what do you call prevent it takes its own time that is why we are telling in one quote that is the prevention is always better than cure the diseases waterborne diseases particularly deadly dangerous see observe here see typhoid para typhoid dysentery or diarrhea like the even jaundice also they are coming from waterborne diseases and then uh, what do you call polio myelitis see like this we can give deadly dangerous which very very important one in our society see because prevention is better than cure prevention means before getting the disease you avoid those things that is called a prevention see only thing is maintaining a good health in the good system in the end society okay that is called sanitation why it is necessary to maintain sanitation in the society the questions they are going to ask okay already i have given the question in assignment to what do you call assignment topic i have given and probable questions they are going to ask okay and at this let us go to the next slide okay hello guys see this slide will gives the sources of wastewater generation in the society the main sources of the main sources of wastewater generation are three types number one is sewage see all types of wastewater are so many many types of there we are classified into only three types remember it total in the society it may be any type of waste see we are calling as calling it uh, calling it as three types see number one is that is a residential wastewater that is which is generating from residential area that is called municipal wastewater that is another name is called sewage remember this word okay next one is industrial wastewater from industry any type of industry any kind of industry the wastewater which is which is generating from industrial wastewater that is called industrial wastewater and another one is a storm wastewater that is called storm sewage okay this sewage which is generating during only the monsoon season right that is a rainfall occurs means that rain water will go to the open drainage and then the all the drainages will go to the stream and finally go to the dam see the water will be recycled like this i will tell you slowly what is water and what is waste water see getting water is very easy the waste water is also another product okay we are producing huge amount of waste water see waste water means what ww what is ww water plus waste is equal to waste water can you able to separate this water from the waste water it is possible but it is very very costly so all impossible so it cannot be so easily to convert again water that is why before using any water see because using means what happens immediately it will be becomes waste water you try to think twice thrice we are wasting your water wasting your water precious to water see we are going to waste okay unless otherwise knowing all these things because first phase is water supply second phase is waste water engineering again that waste water will go to the streams again we are getting from that streams means again dam and that water will be go to the water treatment plant and again we are going to use this is a cycling of water in the system try to understand okay that is why the people are suffering from maximum from waterborne diseases see okay now here the sewage industrial wastewater and storm sewage sewage is results from the use of water in dwellings dwellings means houses in house kitchens okay then what do you call latrines and then lavatories 
see and then uh, what you called laundries this is from hospitals and then institutions then commercial area etc see this is actually sorry this is a bathrooms latrines that is lavatories and then laundries hospitals industries commercial these are institutions industry won't come this is because i am telling about uh, sewage sewage means the waste water generated from the what you call public that is a purely social concern that is a residential areas okay this waste water whatever it is producing in from this area this is called sewage remember life from the sewage is purely domestic waste water it is not concerned to industry see the industrial waste water you have to separate compulsory that treatment is totally different this different this treatment is totally different now this is industrial waste water industrial waste water means how it will generate it will results from the disposal of waste from factories and trade premises for the production or processing and preparation and distribution of food raw materials power generation plants and a variety of manufactured goods okay which are necessary to the communal life or community so industries are supplying food to the community anything you can take the liquid waste whatever it is producing from this industries see just for example dairy industry a best example is a dairy dairy means milk so how you are getting milk nobody knows you are looking into the packet only the packet milk will come to your house or from loose milk also they are going you are going to get it but the packet milk means that is a industry called dairy the dairy means milk manufacturing okay the milk they are getting from the villages that is a source see that container while transporting and all the containers are should be cleaned 100% sanitation okay otherwise what happens the milk is so sensitive if you add it with any small other things which is against to the milk quality if for example huli huli suppose ale enadru all adrolage ulkonditto even a small drop okay now the waste product which is present inside that is why you have to clean it otherwise the entire milk will become broken it will spoil the whole system it is very very important washing of the cans containers machinery spillage everything huge amount of water is generating from that industry the dairy industry otherwise see usually one dairy industry you know kmf kmf means there is a karnataka milk federation okay that is a nandini for example like this many types of brands are there see per day the huge amount of water is generating that is by washed water only that contains organic matter so you have to maintain so uh, accurately or so preciously this uh, what do you call cleaning of this one like this the huge amount of water is going to becomes a waste water which is generating from the industry okay see next we are going to what do you call the infiltration of ground water through sewers that is a sewers sewers means pipelines pipelines are having joints through the joints there is a leak of leakage of what do you call water the leakage of water from the surroundings entering into the pipeline got it this word is very very important the water which is entering through the joints into the pipeline what happens you tell me wherever the water table is high in coastal regions or water table is high in that area see through the joints what happens the water will be starts leaking into the pipeline pipelines so that the discharge is slowly increasing the quantity of water flowing inside the pipeline plus addition of this external water into the pipeline through the joints okay it will increase the quantity are you remember see this water uh, additional water is going to be entered and it is a load on the treatment plant okay see now this process entering of water from the surroundings into the pipeline is called infiltration okay sometimes through the leaky joint this water will come out that is whatever the sewage present in the pipeline it will be coming out through the joints that is a coming out 
is called exfiltration. Infiltration means going inside the pipeline. Exfiltration means coming outside. Both chances are there with respect to the season and area, geographical locations. So many parameters are there. Okay. Now that is called infiltration and exfiltration. Also increases or decreases. Okay. What you call the quantity of sewage which is entering into the treatment plant. See, finally, treatment plant design is very, very important. That is why we are going on studying the things, the parameters which are coming during first module and second module. See, that will be helpful for the third and fourth module. Okay, remember it. Next, we are going to study about terminology. Terminology means what? The terms and definitions, important terms. I have taken selected only around five to six items you are selected. It's a very simple one. That I will show you in the next slide. Okay. I think are you boring? No, don't lose your patience to listen some of the things because they are very, very important. Because subject is very important. This online classes are sometimes you are boring. But whenever you are free, try to recall those things. We are giving this video for your lifelong. You can utilize it. Try to score maximum. See this time. There is no online uh, examination and they have no excuse. Everything is opened. Now from uh, that means one month onwards, definitely you are coming to the college. Now before that, I will come to this slide. Okay. See now this slide, dear students, this slide consists of some of the terminologies. Terminology means terms and definitions we are going to use under this uh, entire syllabus entire subject okay what is the name of your subject now you are came to know you are perfect in the title that is a municipal wastewater engineering study on municipal wastewater engineering see what are the terms the first one is i have made it to a simple one so many things are there so many terms are there but i have taken only few important one sewage first one is a sewage sewage is also called what? Municipal wastewater. And the second one is sullage. Because as a civil engineer, you must know all these things. Okay, I will tell you why it is and all. Sullage means washed water. Number three, sewer. Sewers are nothing but pipelines or pipes which are carrying sewage. Okay, next one is sewerage. Sewerage means what? This is a collection. Yes, students. Sorry for the interference due to some problem it has shifted to the next slide okay in this slide again i am going to tell you the previous uh, what you call terms and uh, definitions the first one is uh, sewage next one is sullage next one is uh, sewerage after sewerage system see you are going to study about the bacteria okay bacteria means microorganisms the sewerage system is uh, c to c and then uh, what you call T afterwards uh, SD. Okay. C means collection. That is what you call collection of sewage. Next carrying of sewage. Next C is carrying of or transportation. Okay. Where it will go to the treatment plant. See in the treatment plant you are going to treat. After treatment the wastewater is uh, converting into not drinking water. It contains some microorganisms. Okay. Huge amount of microorganisms are present. That wastewater, after that is uh, treatment, you have to dispose in a systematic way. That is called safe disposal. You know already the sewage cannot be disposed so easily unless otherwise proper treatment. That is why the overall treatment system, I am going to explain in this uh, terminology one by one. Let us take one by one. Okay. See now here in this slide, I am going to explain sewage. See, the first terminology is a sewage. The sewage is the liquid waste generated from a community or a society. It consists of preliminary, what actually the primary or preliminary used water with a mix of, what with a maximum of 0.1% of solids. You observe here, this, if you wash your hands, how much you, the waste is generating from your hands? Very, very small quantity. Similar to this, if you anything you do washing of floors washing of cloth washing of what you call dishes etc anything if you utilize that water 
the usually the mixture of finally whatever the product is coming that is a sewage see from toilets or urinals or anything okay it contains solids of only 0.1% the remaining 99% of water is what you call the water it is water that is sewage consists of water you observe here the sewage consists of 0.1% of solids made of organic and inorganic substances and about 99% of the sewage generally contains water see in the waste water the percentage of solid is very very less least quantity but it will creates lot of problem if you cannot consume that sewage okay now it is generated from water closets you know then urinals then wash washrooms okay and then residences and then institutions hotels commercial areas etc okay it is highly decomposable in nature what is the meaning of sewage the sewage is an organic waste water it is generated from a society it consists of 0.1% and 99% of water if you tell like this see this definition it has given very clearly you can go to the another topic see topic means the sewage okay see it is highly decomposable in nature remember it because of organic matter see now what is the quantity of sewage generating from this water supply you are supplying water how much quantity it will converting into waste water see some amount of water is not reaching to the drainage that is why see we are going to consider 70 to 80% of the community water supply is considered as sewage you remember it always q of water supply is there for example 100 liters 100 liters we are going to supply to the public how much 70 to 80% of the water will be only coming out as a sewage see don't consider 100% because sometimes you are going to use for washing of cloth or cleaning of floors some amount of water will be retaining inside the house it won't reach to the treatment plant that is why the amount of sewage generating in a society is 70 to 80% of the water supply water supply the quantity of water supply whatever it is supplied to the town or a city okay are you consider this one now it consists of oil and grease and waste matter this organic and inorganic materials etc if you go through neatly so that you will get an idea about the sewage okay as and now up to this much of slides you are used you are listening patiently see what is sewage what is municipal waste water you came to know now in a house we are producing two types of waste waters in your house can you observe from bathroom and then kitchen and washing places or wash basins these are called washed water the washed water is one type of water it contains less organic matter right this water washed water is called is called what actually it is called sludge see another waste water which is producing from your toilets remember it see those things are called really sewage see this is a sludge that is sewage remember it this sludge is a liquid waste water or washed water generated from a community or residential areas remember it this word sewage that is sludge sludge it does not includes the discharge from hospitals operation theaters slaughter houses etc which has high content of organic matter these things see the usually the sludge which is washed water we can dispose through what you call open drainage system but this toilet waste water we cannot what do you call we cannot uh, that is uh, pass through the open drainage it is very difficult because it is having its own smell or odor nuisance we cannot pass us through the open drainage that is why we are providing the pipeline it is called closed drainage system so that the water carrying system the human waste will be carried through the pipelines so this subject is a waste how to handle this okay very easily water carriage means directly it will go and reach to the sewage treatment plant okay sludge is the washed water it is not having much organic matter not much bacteria so microorganisms so this water can be what you want 
allowed to flow through what you call discharge into the open drainage systems. Okay, you are knowing that any house, any building, your house also. See, anybody not having the drainage in front of your house, just you see that all houses are having a roads in front of your houses. The all houses or buildings are located in front of your roads. Remember it. That roadside shoulders are drainage. That drainages are open drainage. They are meant for passing this sullage. Okay. Agree. We are designing the size of this one. Depth, width, dimensions of this one. We are going to design gradually. Let us go to the next slide. Okay. As I know, we have studied sewage. What is sewage? What is sullage? Usually, you have to provide two pipelines in your house. Don't mix this sullage and sewage in one single pipeline. It is always complicated. Never be, never be. Washed water should go to the open drainage and this toilet waste water should go to the, what do you want? Underground drainage system. See, underground drainage system is called what actually? Sewers, sewer lines. Okay. Now, this is called sewer. See, observe here, this is called sewer. We have studied sewage, sullage, now sewer. This sewer means what? Sewers are the pipelines called UGD, underground drainage system. Okay. This most of the, the maybe type of sewer materials. Okay. The pipe materials are different, different. See, it may be PVC pipeline or SW means what you call stoneware pipes. That is called clay pipes. And next is cement pipes or cast iron pipes. Like this, etc, etc, types of pipes we are going to use to carry the sewage. Remember it. Sewers are nothing but what actually the pipelines which are carrying sewage. Okay, they are closed drainage system. They are also called closed drainage system. And this water which is passing through this pipeline will carry to the treatment plant. Conveyed and transfer to the sewage treatment plant. Try to remember these two pipelines. Those buildings or houses are provided with two pipelines separately. They are getting less problem if you combine with these two water, wastewater. In single pipeline, it is a very big problem. One or the other day, it is very difficult to handle this. You observe here, construction will become very easy, but maintenance is very costly because no one will come to clean your drainage systems. That is why we have to think of all these things. The sewers are over. Next, sewerage system. Sewerage means what? Underground drainage system. And what is the continuation of this? You observe here, the entire process of collection, collection of sewage, carrying of sewage, that is called transportation of sewage from one place to the other place means to the treatment plant. Next, proper treatment and safe disposal of sewage. The sewage consists of, you know already, it's having a lot of impurities. See, it is generated from our body system okay, or your activities. The entire process of collection, carrying, treatment and safe disposal of sewage is known as sewerage system. Wherever there is a sewerage system, that system is called UGD. Now, all over the country, wherever you go, any city, now smart city, we are so called a smart city. The first preference will be given to the drainage system. You have seen in the city, total city, the road plus the drainage. First they have to construct road uh, drainage and then they have to go for the roads. The concrete roads are started in the city, entire city. Because in this Belgaum city, we are having a lack of treatment plant. So the entire water is going to the underground. The ground is infiltration jada or high in this Belgaum city, very big city. Now the government has sanctioned a beautiful sewage treatment plant where it is Edirapa Marga and Tebuto. It is near to the Vidhan Soda of Belgaum. Okay. Huge amount of the population is around five to six lakhs in your in our city. Huge amount of water will be going to collect that Bollari Nala and finally it goes to some other place where the people are getting huge amount of groundwater to utilize as an agricultural water. So, okay, these are the many things 
So if you go on telling the never ending process, that is why I am start with the, this terminology today. Okay. Next, we will go to the next slide. See, the next slide is a bacteria. Bacteria means microorganisms which are present in our what you call the sewage which is generated from the society. You know, a person will produce per day how much bacteria, you know, microorganisms from his waste. See, that is 200 billions, 200 billions of bacteria will produce an healthy person per day through his, its waste, that is a human waste, that is called fecal matter. See, and other waste. Per day, an healthy person will produce 200 billions. Billion means what? Million means 10 lakhs. Billion means 100 crores. 100 crores into 200. Just to see that, you cannot count. The huge amount of microorganisms will generating from our, what you call, digestive system. It will be coming out and reaching to your water body. This water consists of huge amount of bacteria. Your microorganisms. See, okay, microorganisms will produce a lot of problems to our body. You know, the typhoid, paratyphoid, dysentery, polio, are all our microorganisms concerned, it is waterborne disease. Now, these bacteria which are present in the wastewater, we are classified into three groups. One is aerobic bacteria, another is anaerobic bacteria, another is facultative bacteria. What are those? You tell me. See, one is aerobic, another is anaerobic and facultative bacteria. See, we are making into, classified into three groups. See, what is meant by bacteria? Bacteria is nothing but, they are, these are microscopic and unicellular organisms. You observe here, is it a plural or singular? This bacteria is a plural or singular? Plural means what? Singular means what? Now, this singular is bacterium, bacterium, U-M. Bacteria is a plural, bacterium is a singular. Don't use the term bacterias. Okay, anytime you should not forget this meaning of this. Okay, bacterias are word never be. Bacteria only, right? Please remember it. What is the meaning of aerobic bacteria? Anaerobic bacteria and faculty. Because aerobic bacteria requires free oxygen and light. They will exist and automatically they will develop. See, okay, this development of any microorganisms that is called metabolism and the caritari. Okay, please try to understand this subject. Subject is so easy. Only thing is concept. Knowing the concept is very, very important. Okay. Anaerobic, that is aerobic bacteria means they required air, air and light. Okay, anaerobic means they doesn't require free oxygen and light. This is anaerobic. These two are present in the water body. Okay, I will tell you in future slowly one by one, one by one. Okay, anaerobic means you have gober gas, for example. See, you are going to close the drum above that. You are producing methane gas by using cow dung. That is animal waste. The methane will be producing and collecting in a drum. See, that is a, what you call in the absence of light and oxygen. See, it production is energy. That is a methane gas will be produced due to anaerobic bacteria. We are not using any chemicals. By the activities of the bacteria only, the gas is going to be produced. These are called, they are called byproduct from anaerobic system, anaerobic treatment system and aerobic treatment system. These two questions are very, 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 very important in your, in, that is for your examination, in your lifetime. By using aerobic bacteria, how to treat? By using anaerobic bacteria, how to treat? Okay. See, another type of bacteria, which are called facultative bacteria, they can exist in both the condition. Facultative means what? They are adjusting to both the conditions, just like a joker. Okay. That fellow is going to adjust in aerobic and as well as anaerobic. Try to remember, okay? Faculty to means they can exist in both the conditions, okay? These are called microorganisms because the role of microorganisms is very, 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 very important in the treatment of sewage. That is why we will study in detail the types of bacteria and all, okay? Okay, we have studied so many terminologies. See. Now, 
your subject is concerned to municipal wastewater right we are not studying uh, industrial wastewater but your seniors are there now presently they are in seventh semester you are in now in fifth semester that seventh semester scheme is different they have to study industrial wastewater and as well as domestic wastewater that is a municipal but for you they have kept only municipal wastewater engineering anyhow you must know what is the difference between industrial wastewater and a domestic wastewater see now industrial wastewater means the liquid waste which is generating from the manufacturing the industrial process okay manufacturing and as well as industrial process which can utilize moderate to large quantity of water remember it huge amount of water can be used or moderate quantity of water can be used okay then finally that water is coming out as a wastewater that wastewater is called industrial wastewater that is called industrial wastewater remember it it contains organic and inorganic substances the treatment is totally different compared to this sewage treatment plant okay there is a sewage because of large water requirements okay many industries are located on the bank of the rivers try to understand remember it the industry is required huge amount of water that is why usually on the bank of the rivers they are going to establish otherwise the industry cannot able to run okay now see that is why we are given the factories and mills are located have been located on the bank of the rivers and other body of water the huge quantity of liquid waste which is generating from your these sources and finally what happens we cannot dispose the waste water into the industrial waste water into the river or a stream or moving water body okay you have to treat and you have to dispose that is the condition okay right let us go to next slide see these are the terms and definitions what you have studied as and today okay see today the topic is a what you call need for sanitation and a terminology is to be used we have kept to know so many things today this is very 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 important i have taken much time uh, please go through whatever i have explained today class okay thank you all enjoy learning stay home stay safe and never stop your learning please okay thank you so much next class i am going to engage sewerage system that is a second topic already given in your syllabus okay first 10 items of topics we are the first module are divided into 10 topics now the let us start with the one by one i am going to start with the next class that is tomorrow again we'll meet you in the afternoon okay thank you thank you one and all thank you so i am showing one more slide to see that what are the the things we are going to study in the next class okay the next class i told you that tomorrow we are going to study the sewerage systems this is the third topic uh, no no sorry the need for sanitation is over la uh, terminology is over this is the second topic sewerage systems the types of sewerage systems so this topic is very very easy and uh, what type of drainage systems we are going to provide uh, we are going to study in uh, this uh, chapter okay this is a uh, what you call first second and third we are having uh, three types of sewerage system and uh, design of sewerage systems also there in this we will study one by one okay thank you thank you and all